Hi everyone, Madison Badersky here, and today we will be exploring Padlet. Padlet is a digital tool that can be used for creations, collaborations, and many other purposes in the classroom. Padlet's a lot like a virtual wall of information for users. It's explained to be like a piece of uh, paper being placed on a bulletin board just online. Today I'm going to show you a few basics for getting started with Padlet. Your first step in getting started with Padlet is to simply go to padlet.com where you'll be asked to um, sign up or log in with an account if you've already created one. I like to log in with my school Gmail account just to keep everything connected. Once you're logged in, you'll be brought to your dashboard, which is where you'll find Padlets that you've previously made. And this is also where you'll create your first Padlet. To do that, you'll just click Make a Padlet in the top left-hand corner, and you'll be brought to the different templates that are provided to you from Padlet. For today's video, I'm just going to use the wall template. And once you click that, you'll be brought to your blank Padlet that is ready for you to customize. Uh, the first step in customizing your Padlet is to create a title and a description. For today's video, I'm going to set this up to be a morning check-in for students as they come in the classroom. So I'm just going to change my title and my description to reflect the question that I want students to answer on their post for the Padlet. As you can see, I've changed my title to flexibility and I've changed my description to just describe to students what um, their expectation is for the Padlet. So as you can see, it says the week, um, this week our life skill is flexibility and asks them how they can focus on the life skill of flexibility this week. So once I've got my title and my description, there are many options to customize my Padlet to my liking. Um, the first option is just to choose an icon, which is a little image that appears next to your title. After you've chosen your icon, you have different options for your wallpaper, your color scheme, and your font. Um, once you have that to your liking, you then have options for um, posting. I like to always turn on the attribution option, which... Um, displays the author's name above each post. So as students post, their name will appear above the post, so there's never a question in who is creating what. You also have the option to allow them to comment on one another's posts or to react, give a thumbs up, or like each other's posts. So once I have those options chosen, um, you then have options for content filtering, which um, requires a moderator to approve posts as students create them, so they won't appear on the Padlet until you approve them. Then there's op also the option to filter profanity if that's a concern you have when assigning Padlets to students. So once you have all of your customization options chosen, you are then ready to click Next and you'll see that we are all set to post. So I will click Start Posting, and this is what students will see um, when they log on to the Padlet. I like to create the first post on the Padlet to serve as a model for students so they know uh, what their post should look like. To do that, to create my first post, you can either click the um, little plus sign in the bottom right-hand corner, or you can just double-click anywhere on the screen and you'll see your post appear. I love all of the options that are given for um, posting. So as you can see, you have different options here and you can also click the three dots and there's a whole list of options that you can choose, which I love because it allows students a lot of creativity and how they want to display their information or their answer to the question. So for mine, I'm just gonna go ahead and type my title as flexibility and I'm going to go ahead and write my answer to the question here. Now that I've created my first post and answered the question, um, I am ready to send this to my students. So as posts are created, they'll show up in real time on the Padlet. So as soon as students log on, they'll see my post. When I'm ready to send this to my students, in the top right hand corner, I'll just click the share button. And as you can see, there's many different options for how you want to get the Padlet to your students. So you can copy the link, you can display a QR code, um, you can even share it directly to Google Classroom and it'll appear right in their classroom. It's super simple to get to students and once they have it, they're ready to start posting. So again, this is how you can get started with Padlet for questioning, engagement, and collaboration in the classroom. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to check out our other resources.